Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to assemble a Diane Zanchi cube. Now you're probably watching this because you um, received a, a DIY kit, and your Zanchi is probably um, all black or a di or green or something. Mine is colored, but so I'm just going. My piece is already assembled, as you can see. But first, I'm just going to show you how to assemble your pieces if you don't know how. So first up are the edge pieces. I'll go ahead and take this apart and show you. Now, first thing that I want you to do though is um, I want you to separate your pieces. So these little things are called torpedoes. You're going to put those in the pile. And these are the edge caps. You're going to put those in a pile. And then you're going to put the your corner pieces. I'll go ahead and take one out. And you're going to put the ones that look like these in a pile. But so after you do that, feel free to pause the video and wait till you have all yours in a pile. Um, this is what you're going to do. So first you're going to assemble all your edge pieces. Now the way you do this, you take one torpedo and you just basically uh, pick, in, pick two uh, edge pieces. And you're going to take the torpedo and this little slot right in here, you're going to take the end of the torpedo. And you're going to stick it right in there. So the end is kind of sitting beneath this. Now, you're going to take your other edge, you're going to line up these with those holes, these little um, circular things, and then you're going to snap your piece together. Now, you probably don't snap, but just press it till it feels firm. And all your pieces should look like this. So, you're going to go ahead and do that with all your edge pieces, and definitely feel free to pause the video and wait till you have all your edge pieces assembled. And once you do that, you're going to... Um, work on assembling all your corner pieces. Now, I'll go ahead and show you how to assemble these. Now basically you take three of these corner pieces like this, take two of them. You take the two corner pieces and you see how these how they each one has those little flaps and each one has those little slots in between. Well what you're gonna do is you're gonna take them and you're gonna put them together. So this flap goes into this slot, this flap goes into this slot until they just lock together like so. Like that. I'll go ahead and show you from this view. So you're going to take two in the back and you're just going to put them in the slots. Then you'll have these two flaps. And once you do that, you're going to take your third piece. And this third piece goes in between these two flaps and these two um, slots. And you're going to take it and you're going to put it right in between there until it's pressed together firm. And then that's how you assemble your corner pieces. So feel free to pause the video and wait till all your corner pieces are assembled. Now, once all your pieces are assembled, you're going to take your core and basically you're just going to put um, one edge piece in. Oh, sorry, that piece went flying. Alright, so you're going to take one edge piece and you're going to stick it in. You might have to pull on these to try and get it in because if your tensions are a little tight. So you're going to put one edge piece in. And what you're going to do is you're going to put that edge piece just going to put on the bottom. Or you can put it on a table, it doesn't really matter. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to put in your next edge piece next to it. Now, since you're using a DIY kit, it doesn't matter which edge piece it is. Now for me, it matters because mine is colored. So you're going to put in the other one next to it without knocking this one out. It's kind of difficult. Then once you have those two, oopsies, it's in the wrong way. See how sometimes when you put the other one in, the other one comes out? That's what. That's why putting together a Zanchi is kind of difficult. Anyway, once you put those two edge pieces in, you're going to put a corner piece in. Now in my case, I have to have a white, orange, and green. Here it is. And you're just going to stick it in so that one of these points will be facing towards the core and then you're just gonna kinda sn snug it in there then you're gonna put that on a table however you want to do it then you're gonna put in your next one next to it so go ahead and do that while it's on the table you, if you want you can put it on the table and then you can just slide this on the ground so that kinda goes in so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now it'll probably be out of view but if you can see this this is how you it'd be working now sometimes your pieces might come out and it's a little difficult but sometimes it's easier so none of your other pieces will fall out okay there we go 
So once you got that other one next to it, you're going to put another corner piece in here. So I'm going to go ahead and find my right corner piece. Alright, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take one of the pointed edges, and you're going to face it towards the core, and kind of put it in like that, and then put it back down. Now yours should look like this so far, and then you're going to put the last edge piece in. You can go ahead and put it on the ground again. Kind of turn this at an angle. And then kind of slide this in below. Sometimes your corners might pop out, which is kind of what just happened to me. Put this one in again. And look, now my whole cube's starting to fall apart. So you got to be careful with these. That's why you want to kind of put it on the ground so none of your edge or corner pieces come out. It kind of helps it. There we go, finally. Now once you do that, you're going to put another corner piece in. So I'm going to go ahead and find mine. Yellow, red, and orange. Where are you? Here we go. And you're going to do the same thing that you've done with all your other ones. Now you're going to put your last corner piece in after you do that. Again, same thing with all the other ones. Now, your cube should look like this, where you have one layer, and then, yeah, you basically only have one layer. Now, the next step is you're going to put all these edge pieces in here, and that step is actually fairly simple. You're just going to put the side that you've done, you're going to put it on the ground, and then you're going to take it, sorry, can't really get a good view of this, you're just going to take it, and you're basically just going to put it in like that, and it should go in pretty easily. So you can see like that. So you're going to go ahead and do that with all your pieces. It's very simple. You just put it in an upright angle and press down. And it should snap in pretty easily. So once you've done that with all your pieces, you're going to work on your last layer. Now, your cube should look like this, where you'll have this layer done, and then you have all your first two layers. And last step is assembling your last layer. Alright guys, so now we're on to our last layer. And the first step in assembling your last layer is you're going to take your center piece and you're going to move it at a 45 degree angle. And then you're going to take one of your edge pieces and you're going to basically put it like this. And once it's at this angle, you're going to kind of twist it to your right or t twist it away from you, kind of press it in and then twist back. And it should go in pretty easily. Hold on, let me move this. Next, you're going to put in a corner piece, so you're going to maybe go on, want to put that back. Then you're going to take a corner piece, and you're going to, again, put this at a 45 degree angle. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take this end of the corner. You're going to put it in like that, and the upper angle, and just kind of put it down very easily, and it will go in very easily. So next, after you do that, you're going to put it at a 45 degree angle again, and you're going to put in your next edge piece. So once you do that, you're going to do it the same way that you put your other one in. You're going to put it like this. You're going to turn it, um, this time you might want to turn it towards you, stick it in, and then put it back in. And that, now you have this section right here. Then you're going to put in another 45 degree angle to put your um, next corner piece in. So, again, you're going to take this, you're going to put it in, and you're going to stick it down. The first one, you might have to, um, it goes in very easily, but with the second one, you might have to um, push in a little harder. Now that's in. Now you have this section. Now you're going to put it at a 45 degree angle again. You're going to put in your next edge piece. Same thing. Put it in. Twist it to your left. And stick it in. Or towards you or away from you. It doesn't really matter. Now you're going to put in another corner piece. So again, 45 degree angle. Take this right here. Stick it in. Put it down in very easily. And put it in. And now, once you get to your last two pieces, you're not going to put your edge piece in next. You're going to put your corner piece in next. So the way you do that, it's very simple. You kind of just take this end. You kind of just kind of stick it in there. You might have to put it at a 45 degree angle again. And you're just going to stick that end in. It's a little difficult with the last corner piece. There we go. Then you're going to keep at this 45 degree angle. Then you're going to take your last edge piece. And you're going to put it in like you normally do. Except for with 
with your last one, you can't really turn it away from you towards you to put it in. You kind of have to put it in at an upper angle and then kind of press down. It's pretty hard with the last one, but it'll eventually find its way in. And there we go. Now you have assembled your Diane Zanchi. And for those of you who don't know how this cube works, um, I assure you that it's very nice. Yours might not be lubed, so I would suggest getting lube. But mine came very lubed out of the box, and as you can see, it turns very nice. And it corner cuts very well. Almost 45. I don't know what's wrong with mine. I might have to tension mine differently, but... Other sides, it does it better, but... Realistically, you don't really cut 45 anyways. You maybe cut at the l most that. So, anyway, thanks for watching uh, my video, and thanks.